Okay, just taking taking a little bit for my money to get back. Okay, but yeah. So there we go, and my our colony is almost done. It's almost great. A colony. Wow. It's so great. Yes. Okay, now we got a colony. Next colony up. And let's see, which one was that? Was that this one? No, that was this one. That's even better, because that makes it much easier for us to travel. And then this colony is almost done, and when should we start colonizing after this? I think probably my next colony is going to be right here, just to make sure I completely close off the Europeans to anything in Africa. And that way they can't get anything, no matter what they do, no matter what they try. They're going to have to go the long way around to get to Africa, which... I don't mind. <laughs> Go the long way around. You guys should. <laughs> uh, it makes my life a lot easier. Okay, gain or lose piety. We're doing the lose piety thing right now. I mean, it may not seem... Well, actually, it does seem like we're losing tons and tons of piety. And look at that piety gain. Woo-wee, that's a ton of piety loss. Okay, so native uprising. The natives are obviously revolting. And let's see, we are almost done with our militaristic campaign and our administrative stuff. Which is good, we just finished up our colony, so our colonial guy is coming back. Huzzah! And now we're going to send a colonist over here. And with that, at the same exact time, let's see, you guys are native tech, obviously. So you guys aren't very threatening to me. So does that mean I get, I should get instant, uh, we're going to have to wait a little bit. Basically, I should get instant, like, attacking rights to you guys at some point it will eventually calculate in that I do have a core right here don't I yeah because we are in a new patch where I do have cores and stuff uh, yes I do have automatically a core so I should be able to gain some like you know show superiority rights to these guys which would be nice it'd be very nice and wow we lose money like quicker than any other nation in the world seriously like it's like okay does Marco have money nope <laughs> they're all out of money now do we have money now? Nope, it's all gone again. Do we have money now? Nope, it's still up. Why do we ever have money? How do we ever support these things? We don't. What? Inception moment right there, people. Inception moment. So, yeah, we're gonna just colonize right here, but first we need to like declare war on these guys, but I don't know why. I don't know why I haven't gotten my free cousins to lie against these guys, because they are pagan, and I know I'm not a pagan. I'm a very, very like, Oh, it seems like we get some better relations over time if we do an anti-piracy act. Sure, let's get some anti-piracy act going. Let's get some tech going. Ferocity, good. They should lose their ferocity in the dial. Good. Let's gain some more militaristic ferocity. Now we get the Manchurian infantry. There we go. Standardized infantry is really nice to have because I don't have to really choose. Don't have to really like think about the infantry too much, and I don't have to like think that holy, oh my goodness, I might be doing the wrong type of infantry. Technology-wise, we are completely even with the model weeks, which is exactly what we wanted to be. And no, as soon as I get that CB against you guys, I'm going to war. Don't worry. Oh, what I do need, though, is access military access. Yeah, because apparently if, if by chance they don't give me the CB, I'm going to need to, like, walk through your land so I actually have access to, like, all this stuff. Okay, yeah, and look at, look at my empire. <laughs> Look at my lovely, lovely empire. And I'm almost done annexing these guys. That's gonna be great. Okay, now we get more administrative tech. Bada boom, bada bing. We are doing great. Okay, now let's build up our ships again because I wanna make sure that we get this mission done with. Uh, I don't remember how many more ships we need, but I'm just gonna keep building. Because that's just what you do. When you don't know how much you have, you just keep building until they tell you how much you have. In fact, I could just look on here to see how much I have. And I have 21 ships, so this should, this next batch of ships should get me pretty close to where I'm needing. Like, at the most, I'll probably need four more ships. At the very, very most, I'll need four more ships. And there we go. The last little bit of Africa is finally colonized, at least at parts of Africa that we really needed to count. Because if they would, if the Europeans were declared war on any of this start, then we'd have to be worried. But now they can't get any of Africa. Gulf Africa is ours. Yeah! Go Africa. So, you know, a free diplomat right now, which is not good. You never want to have a free diplo. Uh, these guys love us. Oh my goodness, they love us. Oh, they finally are not mad at us anymore. They love us. I, I don't... 
Okay, we could possibly get it now. I think we could finally get what I want. Okay, so let's try this. First off, proclaim guarantee. Because I don't. If, if anyone tries to attack the Kane and Bono, they're not gonna get there because I'm basically the only people that surround them. So, yeah. Let's do that. Proclaim a guarantee first off. And we're gonna try to improve relationships, and I think it should be just barely enough. Actually, you know, if we just send a gift, like. Send a gift. Oh, wow, you guys are expensive, little guys. Okay. Yeah, 23 is worth it. <laughs> and there we go. And now, what we're going to do is once we swap these guys over here, which should take another couple months. I mean, we're getting so close. And we could probably wait for these guys to be annexed. And then once these guys are annexed, we'll add these guys on our vassal. And then we finally have a bigger African nation. I don't end with the Kiwa. Oh, the Kiwa are not. Oh, they're Sunni. Oh, that makes me feel kind of sad. Because I thought they weren't Sunni. Oh, man. That means I can't. Oh, man. That means I can't do anything with them. And I'm producing more slaves. Uh, dang it. I thought I could, like, you know, plague this game with cool stuff. But apparently not. The game's, like, one step ahead of me. It knew. I would try something funky. Uh, it knew. It just knew I would try something funky. I just wanted to, like, conquer Kilwa, but apparently Kilwa is already Sunni, so that means I have to... If I want to declare war on them, I'm going to suffer a lot. So, uh... I just, uh that kind of stinks. <laughs> I'm not even going to deny, that kind of does stink. So it seems like we may have to have a good war right there just to gain... All this land we need on the coastline. Uh, man. Good thing we have fabricate claims too, otherwise I'd be completely mad. And let's see, naval maneuver. Is there any other good stuff I'd really want? Blockade efficiency would be pretty nice. Ship cost. This would actually be pretty good detrimental to our economy because we actually do spend a fair bit on fleet maintenance. Yeah, 21, 21 of our. F oh, let's let's decrease this. Yeah, just decrease it. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm making enough money. Yeah. And I know I just, like, took over a mat administration thing, but it was fine. Okay, so let's finish up with our six. Integration is a slow process. A stinky yes. Got five more skills. Let's gain this out. You guys, now you guys will offer vassalization because you guys love us. Yes. Okay, so now they're our vassals. And the Western va westernized vassals, may I add. They're not just any type of vassals, they're westernized vassals, which is even better. Okay, so let's get in our Karax. Let's just finish out the Karak Army of Doom. And there we go. So now we got our Karak Army of Doom, we got a new little vassal, and we got new expansion ideals. So I think we're basically about ready to go declare war on these. Um guys over here so Oman Crimea and Hedges probably also a little bit of involvement by Ethiopia so we would have to watch out for all of those kind of things and okay seems like we have some rebels that are being jerks I'm gonna have to go deal with that I know I will but let me go put this guy over here why because I'm probably gonna have some type of battle over here because as you know people are idiots like that so yeah Okay, you guys are a new army. Let's go send you guys over here. We better start... I'm gonna start moving all my troops over here to start preparing for the big war. Because I know this is gonna be a big war. And we're gonna need to Blitzkrieg the heck out of everyone. But we're gonna need to Blitzkrieg every... My Sultan declared war, good. Uh, but we're gonna need to Blitzkrieg everyone, so we're gonna need a lot of power. And let's see, how many ships do I have? Or heavy ships do I have? Whole size, 27. Oh, man. But I have some building right now because I would basically finish it off. Uh, yes, I have three ships exact. Well, four ships exactly. Well, not exactly what I wanted, but and we can gain some piety just for a little bit. But yeah, not exactly what I wanted, but good enough. Good enough. So, goods produced. Uh, we can't quite do this one yet. I don't think. Goods produced is like the second tier, isn't it? It's like second tier. Uh buildings, right? Safari. Nah, 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 no. 
Uh, go to buildings. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's like second tier. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, we're gonna need to like build a lot of stuff before we can start doing this. Let's get another administrator, no local revolt risk, and yeah, this guy, like the Sultan right here, I love this guy. He's been helping me out get my administrative tech all fancy. And I think I actually have one tech advantage over these guys now. 15, 15, 13, 15, 16, 13, 15. Yes, one tech advantage. But if I could get this like Manchurian, like just one more thing, just like extra shock, extra artillery, extra combat width, charge infantry. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Okay, so what do you guys want me to do? Rule the seas. What does rule the seas incorporate? Uh, uh, succeeds when the front has less heavy sits than. Ooh, 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 okay, 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 okay. And I can also do this, which I'm going to do just because maybe that will help us uh, increase our piety. Yes, it does. Okay, so now this is actually possible. Let's start trying to convert some of these provinces over here so we can start doing that. But the get more heavy ships than everyone else, I kind of like that. Because if we're the big guys on the, if we, if we rule the seas, if we're the England of today's day, this will be like... A great game because then no one can mess with us and I kind of like that so rule the seas how much would it take let's see because I don't want I don't want to jump into this if it's literally impossible let's see who is the biggest shipbuilding nation England and they are holy shoot we actually have more ships in England in fact we are the number one shipbuilding country in the world bigger than England is and with the Ottomans, who are the second big, oh my goodness, we're going to have such a big fleet. Oh gosh. But we just have to build literally eight ships and we accomplish our goal. Oh my goodness. Okay, by the way, who's the biggest army right now? We're third! Yeah! And the Ottomans are second! Oh gosh dang, I love the Ottomans. They're like my best little buddies. Okay, but no, no, no. Get back to this, back to this. Okay, yeah, get back to the normal screen. Okay, so yeah, we could totally do that. We could totally like build um, enough Carax to outbid England and then gain 10 instant prestige, I mean 10 militaristic tradition, naval tradition, bring us like 66, which gives us like an insane bonus. I mean, Right now with the Colsiers, the Seahawks, and all that, we're getting so much bonus. I mean, our military is shite, but our, like, naval tradition could be, like, glorious. We could have a glorious naval tradition. I mean, it's not even gonna be fair. Oh no, whatever shall we do? Something bad happened to us. And the Mongols formed. Wow, that's actually kind of surprising. Dang. I didn't think the, like, Mon I didn't think the Timurids could actually pull that off, but dang. So, hopefully, maybe they'll actually annex all this part and do some cool Diplo stuff over there because... What religion are they, by the way? Oh, dang it. I thought they were Shia, because then I would actually be able to declare war on them because it wouldn't be the same religion. Dang it. Okay, so, it seems like that's going to kind of crush my dreams. Oh, it seems like there's a little glitch going on right now, which keeps showing the, uh, the people. There we go, it's gone now. But, yeah. Oh, my goodness. It could be the number... We could be the number one produced heavy ships in the world. Then no one can deal with us. Literally no one's going to be able to fight us. Not on sea, not on the air, not on the anything. Uh, and then we have our armies moving into position over here. Do we have a core on these guys already? No, we don't. Okay, we'll fabricate a core because I already know that we don't like each other. So it's already fair to know that we can do this. Um... Fabricate a core onto these guys, and let's see, they're at war. Oh my goodness, this will be perfect. The Knights, Siberia, oh my goodness. Venice, the Knights, Siberia, that means they're already getting blockaded like crazy. Oh my goodness, we, we could strike now and just demolish them. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. 24 ships, okay. What I'm gonna do is actually go stick my, uh, is actually go stick my cool ships over here. I know, I, I know the Ottomans are going to probably patrol this area and just basically keep it safe for me anyways, but I'm just going to go do that just so that I have some stuff. You guys, actually, you guys can go patrol like, hmm, 
I want them to even patrol a little bit. I do want to keep this kind of area safe. I actually think people, other people are keeping this area safe, so maybe I don't need to. But yes, if I were to attack right now, take these guys out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and it's almost time for the Ottomans are being annexed at a pretty good rapid rate. 3.7, now that I'm a little bit bigger, they're annexing a little bit quicker. Especially once I get to that this big, whoo wee, we could get a big nation. Uh, let's see, by the way, you guys are annexed with Crimea, Nogli, Hendez, and Morocco. Oh yeah, you guys are Shiite too. <laughs> I forget that sometimes. You're only like one Shiite friend who I'm kind of hoping will see the, see the light and be able to say, yeah, maybe we shouldn't be Shiite and become that. Uh, I'm also I'm also kind of hoping that the Mongols actually go in and go take over all of India. I kind of want to see a gigantic Mongol like push into India because it'd be kind of cool seeing like Mon the Mon the Mongols actually be able to do something. Like it'd be I don't know it just it just seems cool to me. Maybe it's not as cool as I'm making it out to be, but it just seems cool to me. And while we're doing this, we're also building our fleet so that we're bigger than than England, who's not even that big anymore. Oh my goodness, we... I can't believe we're bigger than England. That's all I gotta say. I can't believe it. We have... Well, actually, now that I think about it, England's... Comparatively, this is kind of unfair, because England's only about this size, and I'm about this size. Yeah, it really doesn't pay off very much to know that. And it seems like we have a causes Belli, and let's see, are they still at war? They are still at war, so this is like the perfect time to attack. They would get all these people to join in. Will I get my my Persian allies to join in, yes I would. So I'd have Persia, I'd have Persia, Ottomans, and me all join in against the Hengez, Ethiopia, Oman, and Mamluks. This seems like a war we could probably win pretty easily. So let's just start getting all this in. Oh wait, I was gonna wait for my military to tech. Ah dang. Eh, it's fine. We're even tech, and considering we're Western tech, and then not Western tech, I hope they're not Western tech. Ah. Uh, are they Western Tech? You better not be Western Tech. You better not have taken my ideas. No, they are not Western Tech. Good job. Good job, Mama Luke. You guys are so gonna die. Okay, and actually, the better the better idea actually for the early stages of this war is actually just to protect. Because if I were to attack right now, I guarantee I'd probably get destroyed. So let's just protect and let's see. Did Ethiopia? No, Ethiopia did not join in. Oh my goodness, that makes it much easier for me then. Okay, so if Ethiopia did not join in, that means it's going to be a little bit easier for me to do stuff. Over here, I think I'm going to go send my, uh, where's a good army? Well, I do have a good fleet right here, so let's just, like, divide up the army. And you guys, just stay right here. I want to see if these guys are little. Oh! Oh no, I forgot to keep maintenance! Oh shoot, well guys, you're gonna have to wait till next time to figure out if I can win this battle because I'm an idiot. Oh gosh, <laughs> let's hope these guys get there because that was like an idiot move. So, well thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Ah, uh, welcome back everyone to an episode of Morocco! Oh, so guys, we are now starting another episode where I am going to just basically philosophize, talkifies, and um, playifies. We're going to be playing EU4 and we're gonna like it. So now we got naval equipment, factories, whatever that means. That basically means we have more stuff to do. And can we get a morale to army guy? That'd be pretty nice. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, as we are continuing to almost pay back our debts, we are really, really close. We are exactly 246, so that's about 